Hi, I'm GNT and I'm going to take you through one of my fitness warm-ups. Skipping is a big part of this routine, so you'll need a rope. Also, if you struggle with it, here's my skipping tutorial to help, and here's some variations to make it more interesting whilst you skip. If you can't click those, then click the links in the description. Here are the exercises and my recommended time limits. Bear in mind this is only a guideline, so you can adjust the time limits or choose to rest in between exercises instead of going straight from one to another. Okay, so let's break these down and we are going to start with our first round of skipping. Like I said at the start of this video, check out my tutorial and variation videos for help with this. As soon as we finish the first round of skipping, we are going to go to a static push-up hold. To do this, lie on your front, supporting your body with your toes and place your hands underneath your shoulders. Extend your elbows so your arms are straight, engage your abdominals and prevent your hips from dropping and breaking position. When you feel you have a correct position, bend your arms and lower your chest towards the floor. Try to hover just above the floor and hold the position while still keeping the body in correct alignment. Keep your legs straight throughout unless you want to simplify the exercise by dropping the knees to the floor. Now for the second round of two minute skipping. Try different variations to challenge yourself and make it less tedious. Now we go straight to the plank position. To do this, lie down on your front and place your elbows in line with your shoulders. Tighten up your stomach and glutes to get off the floor and to a flat position, keeping your shoulders above your elbows. This will target your core. You should be in a straight line from your ears to your heels, with knees locked and still tightening up your glutes and core. Hips too low or butt sticking up creates a lower back arch, giving you an anterior pelvic tilt. This is the most common mistake and it puts a lot of strain on the back whilst taking tension out of the core, so we definitely want to avoid that position. For more information on the plank, check my ab and core workout where I go into more detail. When time is up, we go straight to our last round of skipping. Try to vary your intensity throughout the round for a good workout. Now for the last exercise, the static squat hold. To do this properly, stand near a door or pole or any other fixed object you can hold. Grab a hold of the object with your arms fully extended. Your elbows should not be bent. Keep feet pointing forwards and adjust your feet so your knees are below your elbows. When you're in this position, squat keeping a right angle between your knees and hips. Try to rotate your hips forward so your lower back is arched and your upper back is straight. Try to push out your chest and look directly ahead to avoid breaking position. Do not go past 90 degrees or you will put too much pressure on your joints. If you don't feel comfortable holding an object, then you can always put your back on a wall and squat down whilst focusing on the same pointers. Okay, so that's the workout. I hope you have fun doing it. Don't forget to subscribe, like or follow me on any of these and good luck with your training.